Hi guys, RT here. So for this video, I will be going through Fushi's kit and the combo with Embla as well, and some hidden tips and tricks as well, like the um, relief set or the Avatara set synergized with um, Fushi. Alright, so let's take a look at S1. S1 here is dealing 1 damage to 1 enemy, and you can see that his multiplier is very high. It's 120% defense. This is a very high, and it's one of the highest defense multi um, modifier you can see in game. And S1 here will give him a smoke screen, so this smoke screen is going to give him defense plus 10% each stack, and damage mi mitigation plus 10%. So this one here can up to 5 stack. And you also can get healing as well from what you deal. So let's say you have 5 stack. You're going to get another 50% defense increase. And then 50% damage mitigation. And then 50% of the healing. Alright, so this thing won't remove in subsequent rounds. So it's going to be very good in the wave content. And then the passive here. Technically, you're going to get 5 stack of smoke screen at the start of the combat. Which means you instantly have the smoke screen. And you instantly unlock your S3. Then... Your S2 here, uh, when you have 5 stack of smoke screen, you're immune to all control. This all control, it should be including Tolan's S3 as well. So technically, um, stun, freeze, all these things is not going to affect him. But he can get he can get by Torn, because Torn is not a control effect. Torn is a debuff effect. He can be AP down, all those stuff, right? So as long as control effect, it won't affect off him. Then another thing, Embla and Fushi is together in the team. Embla will not die. So Embla will always stay at 1%. Embla won't go lower than 1%. This thing won't trigger Mavis Griefless. It won't trigger Suja's um, counter attack as well. Because they have, they must let them die to like trigger Graveless or the Suja's counter attack. But Embla technically is always at one percent HP, so technically Embla didn't die. But this effect will clear permanently upon Fushi's death, and only affect in PvP battles such as Beat Bout, Point War, and Knockout. The Point War part currently there's a bug, but they say they're gonna fix it, so we'll we'll take a look, right? So. For this part here, we what I haven't tested is if Fushi is going to. Um, get back the effect if Fushi revive later, but we're gonna try. Uh, but for now, what I know is, if you go into griefless mode or you go into, as long as he's alive, your Embla will always maintain at one percent HP. And Embla cast S one, then Fushi will launch a pursuit S one. If Fushi cast S one, then Embla will launch a pursuit S one. Then Frog, Frog Baker. Attack one enemy two times, damage per hit is 10% plus 80% of defense, and this one here can upgrade to 120%. This damage here ignores shield, and you get one stack of smoke screen. So, he, his kit is surround around the smoke screen stack. You want to keep gaining your smoke screen, and then the most efficient way to get smoke screen is through your S1. Okay, and this S1 here can be triggered through Avatar, can, tri can be triggered through Relief, as this as well. As long as as he is casting S1, he's gonna get smoke screen. But this assist from the equipment and the S um, of skill effect won't trigger um, M blast assist because it have to be actively. If it's not actively, it won't trigger M blast assist. So, but it will help Fushi stack up the smoke screen even faster. Then S3 attack one enemy eight time. And this multiplier, if you upgrade to max, you are actually dealing three hundred twenty percent defense and 80% of attack. This is the highest multiplier uh, single, target single target damage, multi-hit damage, and um, defense scaling damage as a one skill. 320% is even higher than a, a lot of them. So for example, if we take a look at Matteo, Matteo, we all agree that his S3 is pretty pain, right? His S3 is 3 hit, and then if you max up, it's only a total of 225% attack. Multiply is 225%, but not we are not calculating the speed extra damage here. But just based on the multiplier, it's only 225%. Meanwhile, Fushi have a 320% defense scaling. Not I haven't mentioned the attack. I haven't mentioned the stack from the smoke screen and this death dispersal buff. So technically, if you're able to get dispersal buff and smoke screen buff, you can add up a total 100% defense increase. And not yet including a defend buff, uh, defend up buff. So his S3 here is gonna be a nuke damage, especially uh, as long as you want to target. Let's say you want to kill Anna, if you, if you can just use S3, maybe you can just one shot Anna already. This ability cannot affect by and 
this ability cooldown cannot be affected by any ability so such as Sachiko, Nusi, all this skill reset stuff will not affect but it can affect by Ocean Wave but I don't think Ocean Wave is his best set because even though you can cool down his skill you are still locked behind the smoke screen so I don't think Ocean Wave is the best set for him but we need for more testing I will only tell you uh, what is the best set on him okay then his cooldown can be up to two turns then Ascension this Ascension is going to be very good so you can all see the skill here, he's going to get defend, um, percentage, crit damage, speed and most importantly your ascension here, you will grant his S3, ignore shield and this skill cannot miss. So if it, even though if he's on element disadvantage, he won't miss the S3. His S3 will guarantee hit you, it cannot be missed and then his S3 is a nuke damage and he ignores shield. So for example, the current meta, Jin Chu and Mavis, Mavis is going to be very um, very safe behind Jin Chu's Intimidate Shield but his damage here is going to ignore the shield instantly and deal damage to Mavis HP so it's a very good counter to Mavis Jin Chu team which is one of the best free to play um, team in the game right but don't panic, don't panic even though Fuji is able to do this doesn't mean that Jin Chu Mavis team is going to be useless okay every team have their own counter every team have their own advantage and weakness so I'm really happy Fuji is here to actually have a meta change or another meta in the PvP content so every every team have their own counter now and now have their own counter Iki have their own counter everyone have their own weakness now so it's a very good thing to happen in the game actually then he have a captain leader of a universal defense 30% and he have a definite if you up to D3 he's gonna 100% chance get a defense up before he cast S3 so his S3 is gonna give um, defense up so the defense up is gonna buff him and then he's gonna get cause you have to use you have 5 stack to smoke screen to unlock this right so, which means you're gonna have a 50% defense increase as well so 50% increase plus the multiplier here plus the defense up here is gonna be very pain Okay, then he have the highest base stat we have in game currently Cause if you max level Fushi, Fushi base stat is a 1255 So this base defense here is actually the highest base defense you can find in the game currently So let's say if we compare to Donna Donna uh, max level is 1243 Donna is actually the highest base defense in game before Fushi came out So now um, Donner is 1, 2, 4, 3 and Fushi is actually higher than Donner. So Fushi's base defense is high, Fushi multiplier for the defense is very high as well and he's gonna be a nuke in PvP content. This is for sure. But for PvE, I'm not really sure at the moment because I do heard some of the uh, PTR player in my Discord channel, they did share about their thoughts in for, for Fushi and Embla. It seems like Embla Low key, low key, okay, low key, and blast um synergize with Feng Shun and Lim is still better than Fushi at the moment, but this is not the final uh final outcome yet because we are still at a testing period, right? Everything about the final outcome we have to go until the global server. But for now, it, it is what it is. Okay, then for the resonance. R1 final damage, your S3 is gonna get even more damage, which is very juicy. And then your R2 here, after you cast S3, you're gonna cast, you're gonna get a bonus turn. So I don't think the R2 effect here is gonna matter a lot because you don't really need this bonus turn. And with the bonus turn here, we'll actually get rid of your dispersal as well. If not mistaken, or I'm not sure about this part, I'm gonna test R2 showcase, then I'm gonna confirm this with this. But I don't think this bonus turn is gonna be very good. Then for R3, bo um, stats, bonus stats, then for R4, your first active ability cast, which is going to be your S3, is gonna plus 15 damage. 15% damage, so 15% damage here, plus 10% final damage, plus uh, one uh, plus 15% defense increase, plus another defense up um, buff here, and then with a 320% multiplier, I don't think anyone will survive from that, especially Anna. Because damage multiplier is, defense multiplier, his, his defense multiplier is just too high. Then for R5 here, another bonus stats, and then R6, it is what it changed for PvP and PvE as well. It's like um, a mega change. So Embla will cast S3 on the target before he cast S3. So Embla is gonna cast S3, gonna put defend down on the target and also apply the seed. Then F F uh, Fushi here is gonna hit 8 hit, right? So it is 8 hit is guaranteed to trigger Embla's seed explosion 
and then he gonna get a smoke screen after casting 8 full misplay so he get back his smoke screen even faster and then it increase his dispersal dispersal um, buff duration to 2 turns so he, you have a longer time period with a defend 50% and this dispersal buff can actually stack with his smoke screen so you can get up to 100% damage mitigation uh defend but damage mitigation is up to 50% because damage mitigation is in this game maximum you can get is one uh 50%. You cannot go to 100%. 100% means you get zero damage. You can't do that. So maximum you can go is 50%. Okay, so overall his kit is very strong as a PvP as well. He can make Embla um enable in a PvP meta. He can make Embla not die in PvP meta. He deals multi-hit. He deals very high damage, especially his S3. And then as long as Feng Sh um, Fushi don't die, Embla won't die. And Fushi is so tanky. He uh, All damage to him will reduce 50%. And then he has so high defense, so it's going to be hard to kill him. And when he has 5 stack of smoke screen, he cannot get control. So, which is so good. Right, so if you're wondering like what set is good for him or what... Um, stats is good for him for now i'm not really sure but for stats wise i'm pretty sure you're gonna build him as a dps it's gonna be um crit rate crit damage and defend um defend as well as high defense as possible you want to make him very high defense and every time he hit he deal damage he's gonna heal as well so it's gonna be very good very high survivability then resonance why if you think if you guys ask for my only opinion via resonance i would say r0 or R6. I don't think his other resonance here matters a lot if you just want to play Fushi, uh, Fushi meta, um, Fushi with M Blood combination. But one copy is enough. One copy is enough for you to enjoy Fushi's playstyle. But if you're trying to play him in PvP or higher end PvE, then go for R6. Because the R6 here give another um, S3 from M Blood first, which is another seed prop, and then more easy to get smoke screen. Um, higher duration of this buff and a defend break from Embla to deal on the damage before he casts his S3 which is very very good but other resonance here I don't think it really matters a lot if you if you are a free to play player or you are just a mid spender player who don't who doesn't have a lot of wish stone maybe one copy is enough if you just want to play if you just want to um, make them as a couple in your game one copy is enough but if you want to go to R6 nicely because the next anniversary event the next esper could be the floating esper i'm not sure it's gonna cast uh, gonna cost you wish stone or not but yeah okay so i will post more video a uh, video testing about him um this few days i'll post a lot of testing video about him like r6 testing pp testing video i already have some footage um provided by other players as well so technically this video here is just gonna explain you what Fushi can do and what Fushi couldn't do alright so hope you guys enjoyed the video it's more like a experience total up in this video to just share to you guys right so hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next video bye bye special thanks for the direct support on the YouTube membership so for the benefactor of our tier which is Gen MP Rosas 15 Molkert Regili Thank you so much for the support. And for the supporter and patron of our tier, which is Louis Schneider, Agni, Jemmai, Code Wilderness, Rimu, Chani, Ziggy, Wang Tamer, Karmaruki, Sunwaltz, Racketus, and Kyle Worshipper. Thank you so much for the support. And special thanks to Louis Schneider and Agni for the three months track of support. So hope you guys enjoy the video and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.